Hey you guys. Today is fix shit on the van that we haven't fixed and we've been putting it off for a while. Like random dings and door and like when you turn the van on it says this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong. We're going to fix some of those today. We also might get in the garage, reorganize some things. We'll see. So we started getting this funny blinky sound. You hear that? It's like blinking fast. Well, that is because one of the bulbs just went out. But there's two bulbs, so not completely illegal. It's just not ideal. Plus that noise is annoying. Yeah, I can't stand that like click click. <sighs> it's like, I hear you. I know. Get off my back. So we got some light bulbs. We are rolling in parts. Wyatt. Look at that. A plethora. Shit, I broke a bulb. Not really. Shit, yes I did. Nuh uh. No, not really. Okay. Happy Romo. What are you doing, buddy? It's his birthday Eve. It is Romo's birthday Eve. Tomorrow he'll be nine years old. This is all the stuff that we put in the back of the van, AKA the garage. Minus some things. Like, we need to slim down some things. Well, I mean, we already have, but there's, like, we normally carry a whole other suitcase full of clothing. From here over, not ours, so. Yeah, yeah I guess we have, that's not much now. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Just surviving here, that's. Shit we need and then tools, that's really it. And then normally we got our uh, paddle boards. Oh yeah, those are in the other car right now. Our tackle box, which that's normally not in the way. What else? That's really it, isn't it? Yeah. So we'll be packing this back up today. That's the plan. Same. There's a lot of room back here. I mean, like, we could pretty much take anything with us that we want. We could, uh, lay a moped on its side, probably. <laughs> Electric bikes could fit, especially the ones that fold up. Yeah, hey, if any uh, sponsor, anybody out there, you know, sponsors people with electric e-bikes, you know. Let us know. Don't be afraid to uh, send them our way and pay us and what have you, all right? That would be a good sponsor. Would we use them, though? Damn right we'd use them. I know I can't walk as fast as I can ride a bike. One screw. So would you say this is pretty easy to do? Uh, it is, but when you take this off, you kind of got to go out. Huh. Not kind of. You have to go out with it. Okay. And it's easy to get that little bit of angle on it. I gotcha. Hey. Oh, that's, this could go on the Reddit sniper. I thought it went... I thought I saw it. Sniper, Reddit, whatever it's called. Shit, this is tough. I swear I saw it hit. Like hey, if you see the screw in the comments, let us know. <laughs> let us know. Screenshot it and circle it. Where the hell is it? Hopefully we found it before you point it out, though. What the fudge? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, son of a biscuit. Where? Oh, got it. Hey, nice. Where? I win. <laughs> yeah. Get your little finger in there. <laughs> 
plastic clips. we go. Didn't break. That's one. I Woo! Something flew off, but nothing important. Hope not, because we ain't finding it. Alright, so look. Now that you're in here, I don't guess you have to do this, but take this clip off. Because now look. It's working. Just oh, it. tight. And you got Yeah, he's hanging out in the doorway right here. We got a storm rolling in, guys. Fingers crossed for some rain. The well's run dry. It almost is dry, literally. The spring's drying up. We're gonna be the have to same size, be the same size. I don't think it is. Nope. My dad says that they're literally about to have to sell the cattle if it doesn't rain. They're feeding hay in July, and that's not normal. They should be eating grass. But as you can see, everything is dead. Alright. One screw. I think it's two. Yeah. Two, three, four. Okay. Now I'm not mistaken, which I never am. Why am I using a power tool? It's called laziness. I like it. I That's what too. I would do. I didn't spend the money on it just to, you know, use it every now and then because I'm a pretend carpenter or something. There's your four screws. Next thing you do, I believe it should just slide right off and then, boom. Alright, but shit. Let's Which way does it go? Bottom. So it is this one. Oh yeah. Look at it burnt. Uh-huh. Just a little twist and a little poppy pop. I think it's this one. Hey, Romo. Thank you. Yep. And these are 7528 Long Life. And this is for our right rear turn signal. That's correct. Yep. So if you need to know, that's it. When you go into the old store. When you go into an auto zone, there or is... Or Napa. Napa's preferred. Go to Napa. <laughs> um, when you go there, there's usually like a QR code or some sort of helpful book where you can look up or just google 2019 mercedes sprinter van whichever light bulb you need that's how we google everything people think i'm really smart but now i just know how to google little undins here little tabs you shouldn't be touching the bulbs your finger grease will burn it out shut up watch him crack it Boom. nice that's it. Just put it back in. Round hole in the square peg. Something. And then take your four screws. And go ahead and get them in there. Why don't you use your screw back? Because I was just trying to get ahead of the game. I was doing it for the viewer. I wanted them to see where they all go, Justin. That's what I was doing, but look. I don't think anyone said that. I didn't say it either. I was just thinking it. Oh. I put this to about uh, a million pounds of... Just kidding. I don't even go tight with the thing. I'll use my... Well, maybe I will. I don't know. Probably use a screwdriver. Nope, that's good. That's good. Right when you feel like it's gonna break your wrist, get limp with it. And then it'll... You don't have to talk if you don't want. See what I mean? See how that works? Watch. Everyone will. Just watch this. Watch Justin strip the tail light. No, they weren't even on it. 
I was just... Come back over. This bitch is dirty. We should do some preventative maintenance, but guess what? Guess what? We ain't. Just kidding. Not really. So. And then you got these tabs back again. So, there we go. Click, click. Um, no, I was supposed to do that? Yeah, we still okay. got the two other screws. So look, one down. One problem down, two to go, I think. We put this rusting screw back down here where the salt is from, who knows, either the beach or the salt flats. Oh, you know what? It works, but different size bolt. That's called irresponsible people. So look, we don't make it right. This is the Toys R Us kit. You can get them in any Toys R Us. They sell kids sets of tools. That's cool. Mm -hmm. See how the limp rest? I see it. See that? I see that. That was wonderful. There you go. Thank you. When we got hit in Vegas, the way the damn woman got away was when I opened the door to get out and see and talk to her. Oh, I didn't do it right now. Yeah, oh, it popped. popped out. So these little pieces are broken. Here. Yeah, what we got won't work. Damn. We have to take this in and find the piece for it. So right now we are replacing the passenger window switch on my side, the passenger princess seat, because it just doesn't go up and down anymore. Justin, you want to show them how you pop that baby off? Yep. So a little cover here in your little cup holder handle. First, you pop this off with like a little screwdriver. It's kind of a pain, not that bad. And there's this little T. What are these called? Torque screw? God bless it. Take that out. Okay. And then these are a little bit of a bitch, but you can like push in and pull this out or use like a credit card, like a hard credit card or a piece of metal. Uh huh and wedge it in there and it gets in between them then this comes right out. Perfect. Yep. So now we can just put the new piece in there. Huh? Well, then there's these two tabs right here. Okay. And I believe you can get it up here. There, that's soft. Heard that before. Oh shit, there's two on the other side. Stupid idiot. I'm so stupid, so stupid, so stupid. You better stupid. hurry up, it's about to I'm rain. Trying. Look I'm at the raindrops. I'm all the wrong way. Look at the raindrops, guys. It's working. Bring on the rain. That Was that a good sound? Yep. Yay. All right. All right, now. There's a little clip, electrical clip with an indent. You just push down on it, and it releases it, and then boom. I can't wait to have this done. All right, now. So I don't fudge up orientation. Oh, it's pretty simple. It looks like a Cat 5, Cat 4. I made that up. Probably that's really what it is, because I'm so smart. Just push it right back into the connection. Boom. Come over here. Face it the right way. Clips back in. Clips back in. All four clips. One, two. Three, four, secure. Technical inspection done. Tuck your wires. Come on back over here, give it a little professional one of these. All right, that don't work. So try something else. What we got here? Okay, we're gonna go at it with a wedge. Wedge formation. Okay, that seems to be going good. This ain't how I took it out. Ah, nice, nice. Ah! Oh, that was not a good sound. But we're golden. We're good.
Chief. All right, man. I'm gonna start this beast hold up. On, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, good call, good call, good call. We should have done that up. before we ever put her in. Oh, Fuck, I'm so stupid. <laughs> Here we go. This is how the Floyds test things. Did it work? <sighs> you guys have no idea how annoying it was before. Like, if you wanted to stop it, you'd be like, you'd be like, hurry, 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 try and stop it, try and stop it. And it just wouldn't, it would not, I swear to Ja. Isn't that right? It's, it's so irritating. I didn't. This is wrong of me, but I didn't fully believe her that it was that bad until I sat over here one time, and you have, you feel so helpless. Especially, like, when I'm filming, I like to have control of uh, putting the window up or down, so it's annoying to be like, hey, window me, brah. Or a lot of times, she'll be picking her nose and have to flick boogers out the window, but she can't put her window down right. So I just flick him at him, and he doesn't even know it because it's too stupid. Mm-hmm. But anyways, that's problem solved <sighs> now. Problem solved now. I got my window back. Just in time for the good rain we needed. Just in time. Good Lord bless it. Was that everything? Oh, we still need to pack the garage. I think we need to postpone that. Yeah, we're going to postpone that. Postpone. Also, did y'all to... see our Post Malone little short video? Justin was quite the Post Malone the other evening he when we were... He was quite the me. I just did his song. We were out in the field walking and, um... Amanda and Mike actually were with us. We were exploring this creek on the other end of the property, but um, the moment struck, and I just felt like Justin was the epitome of a Post Malone. So he started singing Post Malone's new song, and I just <laughs> snuck the camera up. Yeah, all right. I just snuck the camera up, and there he was singing it. I had some help. He was getting help. into it. He was getting into it, y'all. So... I got that on camera. Check it out in hey, the reels. I do like Post Malone. He's fun. Morgan just can't Wallen. Keep country. He's, he can't get down with Morgan Wallen, but I'll play yeah, the song anyways. Uh, no, I can't. He's no not that bad. He's, He's probably a cool bad. dude. He's probably a real cool dude. Just not into his music. Whatever. Let's pack her up. That song's catchy, so I guess I am into his music. I guess you are. Okay. Put, uh, put my Toys R Us tools away. Romo. Are you ready to hit the road soon? Tell everybody where we're going. Rochester. Oh. Is that where? Clean that crap up off the beach, will you? Crap up off the beach all by myself. You guys heard it. You, uh, I'm shutting up the back. Shut up your front. Ooh, Lordy. He said the receipt's still in there. Yeah. All right, let's give that a try again. We're back. It's not going to rain today. Pretty sure of that. But we've still got some things to fix on the van. So, number one, this piece is good here. But on this side, we've been trying to find these pieces to fit because they're missing. And you can't really find those exact pieces anymore. So, anyways, we are... Justin's just going to try some things. We've been to like every auto store in the Tri-County area. They don't have them. And that's okay. Once we get this done, though, the last thing that we have to do is put new tires on the van, which those are in. My brother's actually going to help us put them on, use their shop. So that way, saves us some more money there. Once we put those on, it's really nothing holding us back from hitting the road. That's a good sign. That's not a good sign. Did you break one? Kinda. But it's the <laughs> old one, so I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Let's try to see what kind of prying could be doing. This right here is just sometimes how things get fixed. You try and you see what happens. So we'll see. Hold on. We almost there. <sighs> Finally. There we go. Cooking with bacon grease. So we've got these old, what do you call them? 
do you call them? They're like fasteners? Yeah, like a retainer, fastener, typey thingy. And now we got new ones. So if everything goes smooth, you should be able to just push this right in. Ta-da! Let's see. Yes! Ain't she a beaut? Oh, about to negative be back up Nancy. in here. Yeah, you are a negative Nancy. About to be back up in this beast. Hey, buddy. We need to wash some sheets. Probably need to do a little grocery run. Mm -hmm. There Get are some things to do. Um, clothes, our toiletries, toiletries, electronics that we don't keep anything valuable of in here. We should probably make a list. Yeah. Because literally next step. So right now we're going to fill up our garage. That's what we call the back part of the van under our bed. That's a big area with a lot of storage. We have narrowed down the things that we think we need to keep. The things that we might use. And we're going to show you guys what's in there. You hear a funny story? Go ahead. <clears throat> My buddy Walt back at the sea phone. On one of the tape measures that the owner uses, I think, I like made a mark at like either one and a half or two and a half, and I wrote Walt and just left it. So I enjoy the thought of like the owner or someone using a tape measure and like thinking maybe he was measuring himself. Oh my God! Have you told Walt this? I don't know. Has I he think, seen it? I don't know. I need. I'm. I should run it by him. We should find out. That's the best with damn tape measure on the market right there, Stanley 25. You can't go wrong with that thing. Mm. Oh, and if you guys notice, we need some new handles. The leather handles have been fine for the most part. And yes, things are dirty. That's a dent mm -hmm. in the wood. Whatever. That drawer comes out a lot. That drawer sucks. Yeah. Mainly because of this. So... That's a five inch gap, so let's just hope that other handles are made with a five inch gap. Or I can make this one. Ooh, that could be cool. Use like a piece of wood or something. These also kind of suck, so I might be replacing those with knobs. Uh, I'm not real sure, but you see how this one's shorter and this one's longer? It just kind of bothers me in my mind. It's because every time this handle breaks, we cut it and trim it and replace it with one of the longer ones up there. <laughs> They're probably fake leather. That's probably yeah, the problem. Um, anyway, let's get this garage done. I'm tired. Me too. So, we got some nice chairs, skateboard, disc golf basket, disc golf. Some wood in case we need some chop blocks. We got some winter weather gear. And survival equipment. Survival equipment, I think, is in that one. Outdoor blankets, DEF, emergency kit. Wow. Yeah, let's, uh... I got these off of a Facebook marketplace for, uh, you know, a $5 bill, so if, uh... I went ahead and soldered up some stuff. If anybody wants to throw like a $20 bill at me for them, let me know. He just made that up. They aren't even his. <laughs> All right, let's go. Are you making the van rock? No. I'm waiting for the wind. That is not the wind. It is too. Come on. Yay. <laughs> He doesn't get to go in this part of the van too often. What do you think? Aww. What do you think? You Could you hang out in there? Up to you, you want to sit up So now comes the fun part where we've got a Tetris, all of this into that and make sure that it makes sense. 
If it's something that we use a lot, we're going to try and keep that towards the doors so that way we're not back there digging through things because as you can see, it's a huge space. You can really kind of go wild and just put a lot in here. But over the past three or so years, we've really narrowed down the things that we actually use or may one day really, really need to use. So let's see. <laughs> our paddle boards. Check this out, bro. Look how rough he's in. Yeah. Rat Beach out of uh, Garden, Gardenia. California way. What was it? Gardena Springs? or Gardena, California. Just Gardena? Yep. Watch out, Roma. Let me put this basketball away. Alright, bud. Time for me to put this basketball away. Shit. So take a look, you guys. We got our Goal Zero Yeti here, our power station, our DEF, we're running on diesel, our cooler full of non-cooler items, 30 gallon water tank, extra crap that we basketball. do need, and that basketball. Do you approve, Ramo? I think so. <laughs> nice. All right, guys, that about solves it for this week it's a hot one it's a scorcher we're tired um we are gearing up to hit the road i'm taking next week uh, it better be next week we got to get out of here this yeah. is our true home we're ready to be back in it film some actual content for you guys of us doing something fun so hang tight thank you for checking in don't forget to subscribe check out our new merch we've got hats they're coming in soon anything to say Sweet new shirts. Ooh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Sexual. They don't come pre-sleeved. Jesse cuts the Ooh. sleeves off perfectly, though. Send it to me after you get it. I'll pre-sleeve it. Send it back for yeah. free. Just let me know. Easy <laughs> on the free. You'll have to pay shipping, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, you'll have to pay shipping. I'm like 0.3% <laughs> Ashkenazi Jew or something. All right, I can't be giving it too much free stuff. We really appreciate you guys, and we'll see you again next week. Let me get out of the sunburn. Bye-bye. If you haven't subscribed to the Floyds, what are you doing with your life? Honestly. <laughs>